What's up everybody, it's time for another Commentorama. So today we're going to look at a question that comes from Los Eagle. Los Eagle asks, I was wondering, do freelance web designers actually have to make dynamic sites uh, with PHP and databases and stuff? Or do their concern lies uh, only in the field of design and front end? The web design term perhaps is self-explanatory, but it's hard to imagine a client being happy with a static site no matter how good it looks. I know this sounds really stupid, but I'm kind of new to this freelance cycle thing. <sighs> Man, like anything, it really depends, right? So I, I see two questions there. Number one, what do clients want? And number two, what is the responsibility that you have, okay? So the first thing, uh, clients mostly want to have something that they can touch and, and change if they need to. Because client, you know, people change their minds about how they want the headline to be phrased and stuff like that. So if you give them the opportunity, if it's like a really light CMS or something like that, in my experience, it ended up being expressed as a, PH, or a, as a WordPress site. So I build WordPress sites for clients and they can, you know, go in and, and change the title of the website or the headline of the homepage or whatever in the custom fields. Um, and the second one is, uh, what was the second question? The second question is, is, what's your role? Okay, so your role could be, it all depends on your skill set, right? So if you're really good at design but not so great at code, then maybe, you know, you team up with somebody and, and you collaborate together and, uh, you know, split the treasure and find a, good, find a good balance that way. If you're really good at code and not too good at design, maybe, you, you know, you get some help from a designer. If you're good at both, do it all, whatever. You know, it's just, just it's just, how it works out and is how it's business, how business is done. So that's my answer really quickly. Uh, let me throw it back to you guys in the community. What's your thoughts on, on uh, what does your client expect of you and what's your role in that process? All right, thanks everybody for watching. This has been another Comment-O-Rama.